Hey guys, I decided to run an experiment because there is a question that's been in the back of my head for a long time since I've been playing Rust. And the first one is, how high do you need to make your wind turbine towers if you're going to use them for electricity? Is there a cap? Is there a sweet spot? Is it better to make them medium height? Is it better to make them super duper tall? Is it worth making them tall? And then secondly, what's the equivalent of wind power in the solar panels? And I decided to run some experiments on this build server, and I found the answer. I've used some math from Adder's video, which I'm going to link in the description. But there's a few things to consider here. For example, we have, we know that solar panels put out 20 power in the in broad daylight, right? Well, that doesn't mean that you can just use 20 power as the value or the the power out for solar panels because there's nighttime and there's also dawn and dusk and even though nighttime is only 15 minutes on average and day, daylight's 45 minutes you, you can't use like a 75 25 ratio for that because of dawn and dusk there is it's not putting out 20 power during dawn and dusk either and if all things considered if you take a solar panel and it's facing the center of the map which is the the best place to face them generally speaking they're, over time, their output is about 8 power. It's not 20, it's, it's actually 8. So that taken into consideration, I've ran some tests where I, I used a bunch of solar panels and wind turbines at different heights to see what's the comparison. How much power do they put out in comparison to each other? So a wind turbine on the ground is going to put out about 60 power over time, 60 constant power. You know, that, that's an average over time. It fluctuates quite a bit, actually, but, you know, right now it's putting out 76. Sometimes it puts out, like, 40. Sometimes it doesn't put out anything. But over time, the average is about 60. So you need about eight solar panels to, to equal a wind turbine that's on the ground. And then once you move up to a, th a three-story wind turbine, it puts out about 70 power over time, and you need nine solar panels to equal it and then we move up three to a six-story wind turbine and it's 80 you can see it moves up linearly we have, we have 60 70 80 so now we need 11 solar panels to equal that and then if you go up another three stories it puts out 90 and you need even more and by the end over here whenever you get to the 15 story wind turbine they put out about 110 power on average which is 14 solar panels and I was actually kind of surprised here because once I have the solar panels on the ground, that doesn't, that's really not that many. And, you know, this super skyscraper 15-story wind turbine here, there's lots of things to consider here. I mean, I, I know solar panels require tech trash, and, but, you know, wind turbines, they're not free. And they're expensive to, to buy from the bandit camp, and then you have to research it. And so there's just a lot to consider here so the the first question that can be answered is is it better to have your wind turbine really high off the ground and the answer is absolutely yes you should have it at least 15 stories up if you want to make the the best use of the the maximum power output of the wind turbine you can make it go higher than this but you don't the, it, you start having diminishing returns like if, if you go up to 18 stories or 20 stories the power output over time only goes up by to like 112 or something like it's it's not really worth it so 15 stories seems to be a, a good spot to put your wind turbines if you if you want to maximize the power output for it and that's equivalent to 14 solar panels so should you have your your wind turbines really hot up yes and that's off the ground i've seen some videos that say that it's uh, you want to get get them at as high as you can from sea level. That, that's not right. It's not it, sea level has nothing to do with this. It also doesn't have anything to do with how far it is off of your base. What it has to do with is how far it is off the ground. It doesn't matter where on the map you are. So 15 stories off the ground is what you're shooting for for a wind turbine. I also want to take into consideration something which is the battery power tax. Some people don't know about this. So we know that large batteries, they output 100 power, you know, power output 100. And, you know, here I have it taking in 126 power. Well, you have to do that because there's a 20% power tax for all input going into a battery. So you can't just put 100 power into a large battery and have it put out 100. You have to put in, you have to adjust for the 20% the power tax. And the 20% power tax is on the input, not the output. 
So you can't do 120 in, it has to be 126 in because you're losing 20% of 126, which will give you 100. So for large batteries, you need to have 126 power going in for them to be able to manage to put out 100 power. For medium batteries, it's 63. So medium batteries put out 50 power, so you need to have 63 power going in to maintain a constant a constant charge now that doesn't mean that i would leave them at you know 63 and 126 from the get-go i would overcharge them at first to give them a buffer so that if something goes wrong if they lose their input for whatever reason they have a buffer to fall back on but once they have the the capacity charged up all the way then i would set them to 126 and, and 63. If you want to have a, a, a large battery fully powered, you know, we need 126 in, 126 power in to make these things put out a, exactly 100 power, I mean, max out 100 power, what should you use for that? And the answer to that is either 16 solar panels or a 15-story wind turbine combined with two solar panels. And this also answers the, the question, will one wind turbine fully power a large battery and the answer is no no it won't even if you have one 15 stories high it's not enough to power one large battery you need to add a couple of solar panels to it we combine them together to make it power one large battery and it, that it will do that by the way one 15 story wind turbine with two solar panels is just enough to keep a large battery fully charged at max output so i hope this video has been helpful it, it Put to rest some of the 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 questions that i've had about solar and wind turbines for years now I, I think it comes down to what is your base like you know for example wind turbines make your array target uh, i'll argue that to the grave if you if someone is coming and they see a huge compound of with you know five ten wind turbines you know spiraling into the sky it, it makes you look rich as hell and people are going to rage you for that Solar panels aren't as, uh, they don't make you look at, at like as much of a target. You can kind of hide them in your compound. You can put them on the top of your base and they're, they're, they don't stand out as much. But they also cause tech trash, whereas the wind turbines don't. So if you're not swimming in tech trash, then maybe you want to consider that. Another thing to consider is you have upkeep for the wind turbine tower. You don't have any upkeep to lay solar panels on the ground or put them on your base or whatever. So it's a, a, it's a trade-off. I think both are good options. I personally really like solar panels. And now that I know that it's, they put out about eight power on average over time, it makes it a lot easier to know how many I need to run a large battery. So these are some things to consider whenever you're running the power in your base. Thanks, guys.